If your team's knowledge is like a collective brain, it should actually work like one, connected, dynamic, and always learning. But too often, knowledge gets stuck in silos, scattered across tools, buried in Slack threads, or locked in someone's head. That leads to constant context switching, repeated work, and decisions made without the full picture. Let's walk through how to build a connected knowledge system in Notion that not only stores information, but grows with your team. One of the best ways to lay the foundation for your team's knowledge is with databases. Instead of creating a new page for every doc, plan, or proposal, databases make it easier to organize and update as plans change. Let's say you're building a launch tracker for your team. Instead of scattering launch docs across your workspace as individual pages, you should store them in a single database. That way, everything lives in one place and can be organized by owner or status. Once your database is set up, the real magic is in the views. The feed view is perfect for turning your launch tracker into a scrollable feed to share progress updates with your team. The latest updates appear first in a card style layout, so the most recent info is always front and center. The timeline view maps launches against key milestones or dependencies. And the board view is great for tracking workflow. You can even move docs through stages like draft, in review, or final. An even more powerful way to use views to connect knowledge is with linked database views. Linked views let you pull in live data from any database and display it in whatever context makes sense. The best part, there's no need to duplicate anything. You can customize how your content shows up in each linked view, change the layout, apply filters, or sort by what matters. The original data stays the same, but each view is tailored to the audience of the page it's on. Let's say you want to show how a launch is progressing in your launch doc. Instead of copying over details from another place, you can build the page from existing information using linked views. Start with a new page for your launch overview. Add a quick intro at the top, like what the feature is, why it matters, and when it's shipping. Then type slash linked and select create linked view of database. Search for your project's database and drop in a timeline view. Apply a filter so you're only seeing tasks tied to this launch. You can even drop in a filtered view of open questions or bugs that pull from your feedback database. It's simple, focused, and stays in sync, so you spend less time updating your doc and more time actually shipping the thing. And because it's pulling from your live data, your one pager becomes a source of truth, not just more knowledge that's left to go stale. Let's talk about how to keep the content inside of your docs consistent and up-to-date, especially when it lives in more than one place. One of the most powerful ways to connect content across your workspace is with synced blocks. Here's how it works. A synced block is a block you can reuse in multiple places, and if you update it in one spot, that change shows up everywhere it lives across your workspace. Let's say you're building your launch doc, and the information about what's launching already lives in a PRD. You can use a synced block to include the same knowledge directly in your doc. Just copy the block, then choose Paste as Synced Block wherever else you want it to live. If someone using your launch doc wants to add the same content to a go-to-market doc or a customer FAQ, they can just use a synced block instead of copying and pasting it over and over. Now, no matter where someone finds that content, it's always accurate. No outdated versions, no conflicting edits, and no extra work when something changes. Backlinks and page mentions help you connect the dots between pages without cluttering your layout. If you want to reference a piece of user research in your launch doc, just type at and mention the research page directly. That small action does two things. First, it adds a page mention, a clean, clickable link with a rich preview, so anyone reading your brief can quickly dive into the research if they need more context. Second, it automatically creates a backlink on the research page itself, so if someone lands there later, they'll see it's been referenced in your brief, giving them instant insight into how it's being used. Knowledge doesn't have to be a wall of plain text. Think of it this way. 
Plain text tells, but rich content shows. The best stocks don't feel separate from your workflow. They are the workflow. They capture the work, the thinking, the context, all in one place. Let's start with embeds. Embeds are interactive windows that let you bring full files or apps like Google Docs, Figma, YouTube, Loom, and more right into your Notion page. Instead of writing out launch details, you can embed a Loom from the product team talking about this new feature. To add one, type slash embed. Or if you know exactly what you're embedding, like a video, go ahead and type slash video to skip straight to it. Embeds are especially handy in wikis, project hubs, or anywhere that benefits from a little less telling and a little more showing. Next up, link previews. These give you a live visual snapshot of external links like Jira, GitHub, Slack, and more right inside your Notion page. Instead of a plain hyperlink, you get a smart card with helpful context title, status, last updated, even comment threads. To get started, just paste your URL into your Notion page. You'll see the option to preview the link right away. They're private by default, and once you're authenticated, the preview updates in real time, so you're always looking at the latest version. Say a key decision happened in a Slack thread, maybe a change in a launch date. Dropping in a preview doesn't just point to the channel, it shows it. You're bringing the context that shaped the decision right into your doc. Here's a simple rule of thumb. Use embeds when you want full interactivity, live files, editable content, hands-on experiences. Think a Figma file in a design spec that teammates can comment on directly. Use link previews when you want smart, auto-updating references, quick status checks, shared context, less back and forth. The goal is clarity, not clutter. Use embeds and previews where they add value and let your docs do the talking. You now have the building blocks to connect knowledge in Notion focused views and connected systems to keep everything clear and up to date. This system helps your team share what matters, find what they need, and keep moving forward together. And now you know how to build it. <laughs>